Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. It's Thursday, it is May 6th, and yeah, it's almost the end of the day. But that's okay, I think I've got, well other than this mess behind me, I think I got a lot accomplished on my three days off, even though I was under the weather for the first portion of it. Um, yeah, I just had kind of a little tummy bug. I don't know what exactly happened. I might have eaten something that just didn't sit well with me. But we're not here for that, are we? We are here to talk about books. And yes, so this is the first full week of May. Um, and what have I finished reading? I finished Caroline. I just finished it a couple hours ago. And wow. Oh my goodness. Um, yes, it's science fiction because it has to do with technology and stuff like that. But there is a mystery involved in this as well. And you know me and my mysteries. I love them. And yes, the way that this ended, I am hoping and praying that there's a second one because yeah, I need more. I need more of uh, Levi and to figure out what is going on exactly and how things are going to progress because his character grew in this story just incredibly. I loved the way the story progressed. Um, at the beginning, it was um, a little slow, but in you know in a great a good way because we had to know about the technology and everything that was involved. So that's all right. That went well and then yes we just went from there and whew, yeah, look at this cover too like come on really you guys need to pick this one up you do i also sorry pepper i also uh finished mist by stephen king which was recommended to a new wish horror person by Kyle Winkler, the author of The Nothing That Is. And yes, I enjoyed that one as well. Um, yeah, so I don't have really much to say about that one, but that was kind of creepy and freaky and mist and fog and stuff is, hmm, we'll see what I think of the fog the next time it rolls around. Yeah. Um, what else did I say? I feel like I finished something else this week. I know I had three things on the go. Let's get up and walk and see. I look at my bullet journal because, hmm. Yeah. I uh, got my kitchen all done. I know I'm very impressed with myself. I cannot believe I finally got it organized and done. That's it, The Revenge of Magic by James Riley, which was a middle grade book um, about this creature coming up from the ground and he's got claws, and I say he, sorry. Um, it has claws and it, it grabs people and it's, oh, it happens at uh, the, in Washington and so um, Fort yeah, is stuck and he he's trying to make sense of what happened and where it's going and then somebody comes and says you need to come to my school and um, yeah things go from there and it's like a magic system and yeah I don't want to say too much I know because I want to just keep talking about it but I can't because spoilers right so so far I finished three books uh, this month. Yes. Um, yeah. So I also started the audiobook of 13 Minutes. I know. I know. You guys are saying, wait, wasn't this May Indie Month? It was for my TBR. And then, you know, I need some audiobooks. And unfortunately, not a lot of indie authors have audiobooks. So, or at least the ones that I can get a hold of. Hopefully I will progress to more of them as time comes comes by. Um, so I started that. That's by um, 
Sarah Pinborough, and I watched, I watched, oh goodness, I read Behind Her Eyes and loved it. Um, and so when I saw a post by uh, the author Beverly Lee um, um, about her bookcase and I said she's like can you guys guess which one's my favorite on the shelf and I kind of said 13 minutes and supposedly it was and that was great so I'm like I have to pick this one up so I started that one and it's about a girl and it's a YA novel and it's about a girl who dies for 13 minutes and she's trying to figure out what's going on I haven't got that far along in that one so I'll let you know as we progress um so I'm trying to figure out which book to start next on my TBR? Um, do I start I Have a Runner? Or do I start, I know, that one's here because I kind of kind of picked that one up and then went, mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Or should I get to, mm, let's get some light, right? Or should I pick up Take What You Can? Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking this one maybe a little later on in the month. We will see. Um, but yeah, there's so many things to go and do and read. I have so many books. Um, so I think I've decided to pick this one up. I've already put in my bookmarks because I like to place a bookmark halfway through. It helps me gear and feel like I've accomplished a lot more than I have because I know that I'm getting closer to halfway. So yeah, um, then I do have another audiobook from the library, but maybe I'll get to that one a little later on. I still have a, quite another uh, number of days before it's due back. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get things done and off my list. Yeah, ones that I want to read and get them off my list. But there's not a lot of horror on my TBR, as was pointed out by uh, someone. You know who you are. Um, so I might have to pick up some other horror. I picked up The Mist, which was not on my TBR. Um, but I'm going to go and look and see what books are on my shelves that are indie, that's um, horror, and see what I'm going to pick up. I, however, did get book mail in. Um, an author was very nice and kind to send me um, a book for a review, and that is Digest, uh, 10 Short Stories by Convicted and Plausible People Eaters. And yeah, I think this is going to be fun and exciting. We will see. I'm looking forward to it. I am. So that was very nice of, of him. Evan Whitmer, Evan Whitmer. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm very excited I'm trying to figure, wrap my hand around um, all these people eaters. Um, so anyway, that's what I've been doing. Um, I've been having um, a productive couple of days. And uh, yeah, I still need, as you can tell, still need to catch up on some other stuff. And, um, yeah, hopefully I can get things done. My kitchen is done. I've made myself a tea, as I said, which is back there. And I also made myself some chocolate pudding. So that's there for me too. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great start of the week. I hope everything is going well and your reading is great. And of course, I will see you again tomorrow. Hello everyone and welcome to Friday, May 7th. It's kind of chilly out today and I'm getting ready to go to work because I have a layer shift today. And I wanted to catch you up on what I decided to read yesterday. Now, I know I had showed you two books. I had showed you Eyes of Runner and Take What You Can. Um, but instead, I went back to Age of the Almack. Um, so continue reading that this morning. I have about 45 minutes to an hour before I go back, go to work. So I might pick that one up as well. I will be listening to the, um, audio book of 13 minutes in the car. 
and I also finished um, an advanced copy of a book that I got in the mail. Let me see if I can grab that. Um, I don't know what I did there. Uh -oh. um, so I got the advanced copy of Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke and since the cover has been revealed I can show this to you guys. I read this last night. Oh my goodness. I still have to wrap my thoughts around it before I can tell anybody about it, but wow, Eric Waraka never disappoints. He just keeps pushing everything higher and higher above my expectations. And oh my goodness. So yes, more to come about this later. It was so good. Um, yeah, I know it's Friday, I'm going to work. <laughs> And then I work on um, Saturday too. Sunday's Mother's Day. So I'm not doing really much on Sunday. And then I'm off on Monday because I have to go to the dentist. Yay. So hopefully not too many more appointments after that because the periodontist, the appointments are finally over and um, they're finally over and I, I don't have to deal with those anymore. Yay, right? Now it's just gonna work itself out on its own. I'm going for my cleaning. Um, I don't know what's going on with my Kindle, sorry. I'm going for my cleaning, so that'd be nice. And uh, yeah, so many things to do. So little time. I'm so behind on writing my reviews. Like so behind. I'm gonna have to like try to find some time to even just make a list of them all and uh, get them all done. Just the note um but slowly slowly i'm getting there getting things uh organizing and things because I'm, I'm picking um one room at a time to concentrate on and yeah hopefully things will get done So hopefully things will get done that way and um, yeah, there's so many things I haven't done. Oh my goodness. Just even thinking about them right now is um, giving me a headache. Um, but yeah, I'll get them done very, very soon. We'll catch up. Oh goodness. Yeah. So many good books. So many reviews to write. Wow. Anyway, I should never fall behind on those again because it just takes too much time to to get caught up but sometimes it's just really hard to um, write a review right after you've read the book so yeah reviews have got to be done anyway I'm going to get back to reading all Mac a little bit and then I'm gonna get ready to go I hope you're having a great fi Friday it's Friday not Friday sometimes this mind just doesn't work as well as it should anyway I hope everything's going well, and I will see you again tomorrow. Coming up, Watson? You coming up? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hello, guys. It is Saturday. It is May 8th, and yes. Wow. Oh, I'm really orange because the light's on over here. I have to fix that timer. It's a little bit early. Um, but. It's Saturday. I've been home from work for a little while. Um, and I've been listening to the audiobook of 13 minutes. And for some reason, I thought I was almost done, but I am not. <laughs> I still have about three hours left. I know, right? How could I think I was done if I still have some time left or that much time left on the audiobook? It's because we got to understand what happened to her and um i don't know where it's gonna go from here i think we're gonna go like really in detail of what happened maybe we will see um yeah that's lots of meal in there um i've also still been reading age of the almac and i don't know what it is does anybody else 
this ever happened to anybody else, whenever I put down a book, I seem to always put it down just before the book is going to get good because I picked this one up again and it's just gotten like really exciting. I mean, not that it was, it wasn't a bad book before. I enjoyed it. I just put it down to concentrate on something else or something else happened. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And that's why I try not to DNF books because knowing me, it gets better after. <laughs> I know, I know. What? Yeah. I don't know if it's just me. I have bad timing. I don't know. If it happens to you too, let me know. Because, yeah. It all of a sudden just like took off. And, yeah. And I enjoyed it before. Like, I don't know. Anyway. That's what happened. I have not started Eyes of a Runner yet. I know I said I was going to. I haven't. Mm, but, yeah. My family's right here. Are you going to come up, Watson? You coming? Yeah. Um, so, yes, I'm going to do a couple of things around here. Um, and then I'm going to continue with uh, Age of the All Mac. I, because it's my Kindle, I kind of like to read it when I'm in bed. It, I just, I don't know. And I also tend to forget about books that I have on my Kindle. I don't know if it's because I haven't had my Kindle for that long. It hasn't even been a year yet since I've had my Kindle. So I kind of tend to forget them. It's there or it's because uh, physical copies are right there in my face and if it's an audiobook it's on my phone and my phone's in my face so I'm not sure but hopefully that will change because I still have some um, books on my Kindle that I need to read um, but yeah I think that's what I'm going to do nothing more exciting or anything like that has happened it's just you know very boring as I almost yawn a very boring Saturday after I came home from work and we were busy today so I'm a bit tired ah, and I woke up really early this morning but ah, it's just terrible but anyway that's okay it, it is and um, it is what it is and I was almost late for work today but anyway yeah I was reading that's why I was almost late for work because I thought I had a little more time and I didn't. But anyway, things happen. And there could be worse things to do than to almost be late for work because you were reading. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get going. I'm going to go see what Watson is uh, complaining about. And I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Sunday, May 9th. May 9th already. Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there who's a mother, even if it's a fur baby mother, because, you know, these are my babies. Are you going to look, Watson? Hey, you know what? My arms don't stretch that far, bud. Oh, that was very difficult. But anyway, that's my little Watson. Yeah, they've been giving me cuddles all day, which is awesome. It's Sunday, so we haven't been doing too much anyway. Um, I read a little bit this morning, and I would like to say, I know we talked about this yesterday, Age of the Almac. Age of the Almac. Age of the Almac. This is a book that everybody needs to read. I am so hooked on this book, I cannot put it down. I think, because it's on my Kindle, I think I read it most of this morning and then realized it was already noon. I'm almost halfway through. I'm almost halfway through. I picked up nothing else unless it was an audiobook and I was in the car or I was doing something else. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. And yes, I can't put it down anymore. I love the main characters. Uh, Vera and Cole. 
and the world that they're involved in, the two different sides um, of the world and the fact that like they have no water because the water is tainted and everybody prior to that has um, damaged the earth. And so now they have to figure out a way of cleaning up the water so that they can all survive. And there's two different communities with two different rulers and they're each on a different side. And I must say, there are some characters in there and you know that I'm character driven, you know it. Everybody who's been around for a while knows it. If you're new, here you go. This is who I am. I'm definitely character driven. And these characters, even the bad ones, are incredible. I'm enjoying it very, very much. Thank you to Nikki for um, recommending this book to me. And I, I think everybody should pick it up too. It's great. It's a chunker of a book. It really is. But honestly, I'm... I'm almost 300 pages through. I started this in November and I put it down for one reason or another. And um, yeah, I can't pick up anything else right now. Luna, Luna, just a second. Thank you, Luna. Um, sorry, the sun's going down. It's it's pretty late. It's, did I tell you it was eight o'clock thereafter? Um, but yeah, I can't put it down. I need to start some other books. Yeah, because it's already the 8th. The 8th already, I know. But anyway, to distract myself, I started watching the Downton Abbey movie. So I've done that. It's now going through all the extra um, bonus things. And so I'm going to get back to that soon. I made myself a nice tea in my peanut M&M mug. So I'm ready to go. Mm. It's okay. It's decaf. I'm ready to go. I need to edit. I need... Uh, why do I always forget? I always tell myself, Linda, remember to take photos so that you'll have a thumbnail. Right? Exactly, Watson. Exactly. Right, bud? Right? Yeah. Say hello to everybody, bud. Watson. That was Watson saying hello. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm a little distracted. I'm a little all over the place. And all of a sudden, I'm really warm. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get back to uh, the bonus portions of this video. Um, this DVD? What do you call it now? Anyway, whatever. Um, no, I can't do that because I haven't finished telling you about my reading. Oh. God's sakes, Linda, what the heck is wrong with you? I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. So I also finished the um, ebook of Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Spoke. And I think I already told you that, but wow. I think I, I talked to you about it in another clip and it's by Eric LaRocca and it's coming out June 1st, I believe. I have to get my um, review up on that one. Definitely one that everybody needs to read. It's a novella. It's done in like emails and instant messages and stuff like that. And right, he's done it again. He's done it again. All of his books just take it to a step higher and another level. And honestly, I'm so looking forward to seeing what he comes up with now. Next after this one. Because I think it's going to surprise me even more. I also finished the audiobook of 13 Minutes by uh, Sarah Pinborough. And I've only, this is only the second book that I've read by Sandra, Sarah Pinborough. I read uh, Behind Her Eyes and I enjoyed that one. Um, and then I read this one and it was good as well. This one I believe is a YA, sorry, itchy, YA, you know, allergies, uh, a YA book. Um, and it's about this girl who dies for 13 minutes and she almost like she drowns and um so she's dead for 13 minutes and she wants to find out why and she's going through it and then we came to a point I think I told you earlier that I thought okay this this audiobook must be done because I'm not paying attention to what chapter I'm on and I don't have the book to see that most of the book is still there and I'm like what is going on 
so I'm like, okay, so something's up. And um, Sarah Pinborough really knows how to put a, write a twist and to set us all off and like take us to someplace that we're thinking, but it's not where we're going and something else creeps in and I enjoyed it so much. Um, yeah, so if you haven't picked up any of her books, I would suggest doing that. Um, and then that was it. Age of the Olmec. I know. I said I was going to start Eyes of a Runner. I will. I will start that one. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow. Oh, boy. Anyway, I tried to go to the grocery stop, short, uh, store. Oh, my God. I started. I tried to go to the grocery store last night after work. And, oh, my goodness. The line to get in was huge. It wrapped around the store. Like, not all the way around the store, because it's a huge store, but it was so long. I was like, no, keep going. So I don't have a lot of groceries, but we'll see, because tomorrow I have to go and try to see if I can get into my local one. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. I hope you guys have enjoyed as many books as I have, because I'm having a really good month. Um, I can't wait to sit down after I edit and pick up Age of the Almack again, because it's going to be an Age of the Almack day. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying one as much as I am enjoying that one. Hope you've had a great week. Enjoy Mother's Day. And I will see you guys again next week. Bye.